Hi. Welcome back to Mama Four Boys. This is Tommy. Um, I'm gonna do another guitar video tonight. Uh, tonight I'm playing a uh, white 2001 Dean uh, Flying V. It's, uh, it's one piece. Uh, and I bought this guitar right around 01, so I've had it for 21 years. Um, and I've played it an awful lot. It uh, has a wonderfully thin neck on it, um, and uh, it just sounds dynamite. It's got uh, uh, Seymour Duncan uh, pickups, and uh, two volumes, one tone. Of course, they're standard uh, toggle switch for the... the, uh, the Bridge position, both pickups, and then the neck position. Um, and uh, on it, it says uh, I do because I played this on my wedding day. Uh, I uh, played it at church in a tuxedo, and, uh, and I got to sing to my future wife, and, uh, and then we got married during the church service, so it was a really, really big deal. Uh, on it, it says, Property of Jesus Christ, because everything that we have is on loan from, from the Lord. Uh, we're just uh, stewards of his possessions. So it's good that everybody should know that. Uh, so I'm gonna play a little bit of a song that, that uh, uh, a friend of mine and I wrote, uh, he wrote most of the song, I just added to it, but I did record it on a solo record. Uh, and uh, this song is called It Takes More Than Me, and it goes like this. Once I left home, well, I thought I'd understand just what it takes to make a boy into a man. She showed me a That's one verse and one chorus out of it. Uh, it was written by my dear friend Colin Cannon, uh, who was the lead singer for St. August, and uh, after which we uh, collaborated on, on some songs. We were in a band called Vivacious Judy together. Uh, we recorded, re wrote and recorded uh, quite a bit of stuff in that band. But uh, uh, we, we had a great relationship and still do to this day. In fact, I, I uh, just talked to him the other day. Uh, and uh, so he wrote 90% of that song and I just wrote maybe the bridge and some other uh, things for it. And then uh, I recorded it. And uh, uh, so a little bit more about this guitar. Uh, it, uh, I have nines on it right now. And I've always had nines on it. That's all I play is, is nines, very extra light gauge strings um, and this has been a wonderful guitar it's got a black binding and uh, it's, it's kind of it's very thin lightweight uh, with the beautiful big V headstock and uh, I'm going to pause for a second so I can change my setting which is on my my amp over there and then I'm gonna play a little bit of a mystery song for you uh, and see if somebody can guess this one. The, the first mystery song was a song called One, or, uh, one Thing on My Mind. It's by Montrose. And that was, I played that. Uh, that was in the first video. Second video was uh, a song called On Fire by Van Halen. That was the mystery song. And it. Uh, um, uh, had a bunch of that in it. Uh, that was the second mystery song, so I'll play a little bit of this song here in a second, of this newest one, and see if you all can guess it. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I've changed my patch on my amp, and uh, 
I'm going to play actually this solo uh, from a very, very famous song is going to be the mystery piece today. Uh, give a shout out and comment if you happen to know what this is, which many of you should. It goes like this. So there you have it. Uh, I probably could have played it better, but see if you know what it is. Please like, subscribe, and share uh, our channel. It's growing all the time. And uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions about any of my guitars. We're going to go through all of these guitars uh, one at a time over the next uh, 27 weeks or so. Uh, and we're going to talk more about uh, my career and things like that. So until then, God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Make sure you comment in on the mystery piece. Take care.